All right, all right, all right. This video goes out to the entrepreneurs. It was inspired by some of our apricots that are sharing with me how their peers and even some of their family members are telling them how much they've changed, how all they care about is nice cars and flashy things, and that's not what life is about. And I have two things to say to that. Number one, change is not a bad thing, okay? Change is growth. It's okay to want more out of life. It's okay to dream. It's okay to experience it if you're working your butt off for it. You know, too many times those same people are the ones that are arguing with their spouse about money, right? Complaining about how their wife spends too much money. No, you just don't have any, right? Those are the same people that are worried about the next TV show or Netflix or taking out the entire family to dinner and having to pay for it. So I encourage you guys to stay strong. You know, my family never saw eye to eye with me. I actually remember getting in so much trouble as a teenager when I shared that one day I'm gonna live in a two, three million dollar home. And they took it as I didn't like the house we were in. And that wasn't the case. You know, I've always been grateful for my upbringing and having a roof over my head, but I've also always wanted more. You know, I've been a dreamer. And I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Money is not evil, okay? Money just makes you more of who you are. If you're an asshole, it's gonna make you a bigger asshole. If you're a giver, you're gonna be able to give more. Money's also right up there with oxygen. You can't do much without it. But here's the deal, guys. There's two things you need when you start your business. And the first thing is attention. Doesn't matter if you're in mortgages, doesn't matter if you're in real estate, whatever industry you're in, car sales, or in this case, solar, you need attention. People need to know what it is you're doing. And over the last decade plus, I've shared motivational quotes. I've tried to give substance and I had zero audience. You know, nobody cared, nobody paid attention, nobody Nobody watched, nobody liked. And it does make me sick a little bit and it is kind of sad, but the second I post a girl on my Instagram or a car, my views for that day go up by a thousand people. Isn't that interesting? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna create attention. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna acquire the skill set. You wanna work on your craft, right? Rather than making excuses for other people's success and excuses for your lack of success, oh, if only I had a car, oh, if only this, I want you to focus on acquiring the skill set, adding tools to your arsenal, growing, if you know that the more you grow, the more your income grows, you're gonna put a huge emphasis on growth, on mastering your craft, which obviously takes a lifetime, but is something you work on each and every single day. You know, myself, I'm allergic to a lot of the materialistic things. You know, the other day I went out and I popped bottles and it was a $20,000 tab and it's one of the last things I wanted to do. But that day, I had maybe 15 plus people go in my DMs wanting to get started in solar. And a lot of them wanna do what I do on the gram, but they're unwilling to do what I did. And it's a double-edged sword because those aren't the right people, but you know, I've also attracted a lot of incredible entrepreneurs that I'm best friends with today that have families and kids and that were unfortunately able to notice the opportunity and then get to know the people inside of the opportunity thanks to something like a Rolls Royce Dawn. So attention, and then you have to master your craft or you're just gonna be like all the other hype out there and all the flash, you know, with no actual substance. One of my favorite quotes from Dick Marriott, rich and anonymous. You know, the more you grow, the more your goals actually also change. And for me, one of my goals is to make $10 million a year in solar. That'll also be the same year I actually delete my Instagram. I will no longer need attention from the village and I'll be associating with eight, nine, 10 figure individuals looking at passive investments to also make millions of dollars in different sectors. So to summarize, change is good, right? When people come to you and wanna give you that negative energy energy, just take it as a compliment, right? My parents and I, we haven't always seen eye to eye. I've had to distance myself from some friends and family, but one of my favorite memories with my parents was actually very recently. You know, I bought my parents a car for Mother's Day, and my entire life, my, my stepfather has yelled at me for even going five miles over the speed limit. And this time, driving to the airport, they were so happy, they were cheering, they were chanting, and they literally said, I guess we need to start dreaming bigger. You know, when I 
bought them a Ferrari, a paid for in cash. They didn't want to accept it. They didn't want it. And I had to obviously talk them into it. You know, I've, I've been perfecting the craft of having influence and making a sale. So I sold them on accepting it. You can have it. If you don't like it, you can trade it in for what you want. You own it outright. And since then they have bought, you know, the Porsche Cayenne they wanted and they were saving to send my grandmother money for a walk-in shower. They needed $10,000. So they also sent my grandmother $10,000 because they had a little bit left over after getting the Cayenne. But it was very interesting that evening when they first got the Ferrari, my grandma thought it was obscene and they were actually on FaceTime selling and convincing my grandma that it was okay and that it was actually a good thing. So through your hard work, through your perseverance, through your result, you will actually inspire people around you, those that you want around you, those that you love, those that you care about to also change and dream bigger with you. So whatever it is you want to do out there, do not pay attention to the naysayers. You will never buy anything for your family and give back with other people's opinions of you. You will only do it by putting in the work consistently over a long period of time. So just surround yourself with the right people that inspire you, that motivate you, that elevate you. And I promise you, you will never meet a truly successful, happy person that operates with that low level of frequency, the lowest level, which is putting people people down, judging them and criticizing them. Successful people, people I met on Gold Rush Rally are all raging fans. They all just love to see the desire, the ambition, the work and the journey. Enjoy the process, enjoy the journey. I'll see you guys at the top or from the top. Apricot.